This video, I'm going to get naked. Spiritually naked, as I just found out that we have a brand new segment that we're hoping to turn into a stayer down the rabbit hole, where we just click on a random YouTube short and see where it takes us from my account. I don't think I've ever felt more laid bare in my life. If, if I walked out on the street right now naked, got hit by a bus as well, I would feel less vulnerable than this. Can you, can you really expose someone's soul better than the YouTube algorithm? I don't think you can. Let's find out if the hypothesis is correct. Am I going to be severely embarrassed? I'm guessing yes. Just a reminder, this is my account. This is my account. This is the shorts on my account. What have we got as the smorgasbord to react to? We've got Joe Rogan doing stand-up in the 90s. Fuck, I am a man between 20 and 30, aren't I? Uh, Megan Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I think, I think I just click on it because I think she's a MILF. Some nerd holding up a book screaming about OJ's confession. Doja Cat reacting with fans? I didn't realize I was that much of a fan of Doja Cat's music. Like the rest of us, I like Say So, but jeez, is that what's getting recommended? Cut a fish, how they hypnotize. Oh, only 35k views? Well, that's an indicator that's not getting to the top. Some guy, you know, all those kits that you have of when your friend does. Insert that with 7 million views. And of course, yes, my boys from Cold Ones. Go, Go Ozzy. Reacting to a Scooby-Doo animation that they made for $500. Well, like everyone else, when they see Cold Ones in their recommendations, this I say, go to see. How plastered are they this time? I'm guessing very. Basically, we want an animation where Scooby walks in the room and it's Shaggy and he's sitting at his desk looking through files and he's crying and Scooby goes, What's wrong, Raggy? <laughs> like, Scoob, I'm, I'm getting investigated for tax fraud, man. Ruh-ro, Raggy. <laughs> Rax fraud. I don't know, Scoob, there's some irregularities in the pension fund. They're coming after me, Scooby. <laughs> Regularities, Raggy. Ruh-ro. <laughs> and then Hank Shredder from Breaking Bad <laughs> kicks down the moon and goes, I'm Hank Shredder, and Shredder. you're both getting killed for tax fraud. How <laughs> wasted are we at the end of this? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. It never gets old, does it? Someone getting hammered, then um, let, let your creativity unleash, and then you realize at the end of it every time that like you thought you were a genius, and then, no, this is, this is just the same idea over and over again. And that's what makes it genius. Oh man, there's nothing even to comment on that. I feel like one of those guys on the train now. This is my life, it seems. <laughs> That's all I have to say to that. It's a perfect short. Well done, boys. I think we're all extremely jealous. Their job is to get hammered. They're millionaire homeless people. And now that we have selected the starting point, that's it. Jesus take the wheel. The YouTube algorithm now selects what it thinks I want to watch judging off my years of clicking on shit, right? So let's see where it takes us from now on. We are going to, this This is one of those like, I took a personality test, but like actually is your personality, not just bullshit. All right, so let's, let's go into the first one. When I shaved my- This is fucking Doja Cat again. I didn't even like her new like, oh, this is me untangled from the Warner Brothers Puppet masters. I liked you better when you're on the strings, Doja. My head. It just gave me this like sense of self. Looking good, but now my bald head match my I really want to know this. What 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 is this point when it gets to starlets that just reach a certain level of like uh godlike fame every single time they're just like, I've got it. I've got the most original concept ever. I'm going to shave my head. Dude. Jarheads are forced to do that. I don't know why this is always- And like, it's- You do realize Britney Spears existed, right? I'm pretty sure she's still alive. I haven't seen any new Hello Magazine updates. I mean, she wasn't doing that. That- Yeah, that's pretty fucked, Doja. Yeah. I ain't sad you won't fuck me. Well, it just became very obvious at the end of that short that I am exactly who she's rapping about in her latest song. <laughs> 
I'm one of those dickheads. It's like, I'm a fan, but like, you suck. No offense. And I didn't understand the power that that man had. What? I didn't realize I'm into that specific type of pop star so much. Of You can take the diva out of the ghetto, but you can't take the ghetto out of the diva, honey. Anyone at the Grammys. That's What's good, Miley Cyrus? Bam! Take that, you skinny bitch. It turns out I'm a huge fan. I mean, I knew I was a huge fan, but I seem to like them more than the Supre playlist does. I was told by by my then management that the people from the Grammy wanted to speak to me. They came into my dressing room. We don't want you to perform. You, you know what's pathetic? I'm genuinely interested in this. I'm just like, what did they do to you, Nikki? And I was already like ready, like ready to go on stage. And they were like, well, because of the passing of Whitney Houston, they came the day of the show and told me not to perform. Mm. And I said, no, I'm gonna perform. All right, yeah, I'm off you. You, you. Fuck you, show some respect to Whitney. She was you beforehand. We all know, Nikki. in like 10 years, you're gonna be a crackhead, come on. Hey, what does, uh, I'm ill and me? All right, now, for some reason, I'm into Vietnamese Twitch streamers, which is really, God, they are just predicting it because now that I think about it, again, I've never clicked on a Vietnamese Twitch streamer in my life, but I'm into it. Can you, like, really look at me? Can you say, I'm Just once, just once. I don't know. Uh, no, I'm not. That was really shit. You know what I've just realized? Go back to that act out of me watching my phone on the train. That's more interesting than any Twitch streamer ever. Stop throwing things at people. Philip DeFranco, fuck, I forgot that guy existed. Jesus, here we go. Well, to quote Nicki Minaj, what's good, Phil? Let's see what you're up to. Dang, dang, of course I'm gonna be and it's easy to understand why she's giving that warning. There's just been this increasing trend of people throwing things at people on stage, whether it be for content or just to do it. Yeah, it's a lot like all of this YouTube celebrity gossip stuff. Hmm, that is very concerning. Oh wait, no it's not. It's not concerning at all. What's next? Oh my god, I'm so happy for you guys. I really am. Ah, well this is great. This is just modern day Jerry Springer, which is, who needs an audience when you have camera phones and the South? Oh, why would you get back with her? Your new girlfriend is so much more fun. I can't stand her! I heard oh, that. I heard that. And she is half my age, Derek. How did you get on here so fast? I was kidding! You were so much fun for a controlling person! Wow! That wasn't fake. You know what I've just realized what we're doing right now? You know those episodes of Rick and Morty where they just go and watch interdimensional TV? That's just scrolling through YouTube shorts. Sorry, it's just I read a lot of books about focus, focus. so I've never done it before. This will all just be old news to you, but this is just incredible. It's everyone's head is now, you just get a little clip of it and then you go, yeah, that's enough of that. And then you move on. Isn't that a weird universe that we live in now? Again, all of you people that don't live in 2004 like I do with your fucking snake phone, you're all sitting there being like, shut the fuck up, this is really boring. But this is my point. This is my point. This is someone from the past. You think everything's boring! Everything! You're not entertainment! They just came out and admitted they had aliens and your response was, education budget. You're just so used to being snarky about everything. Fuck you in advance! From the past! How much you make off that Tony Hawk game? Uh, okay, fine. Now we're on familiar territory. Now we're back to the you're a 20 to 30 year old man territory. This, this is... Is there anything more 20 to 30 year old male in the modern age than watching a podcast with a bunch of Americans that aren't very good at talking talking to a celebrity that you vaguely remember from your past and you realize, oh, that's why he's still not a celebrity. He actually wasn't very good at talking either. It's just that he did it on the night show. God, how irrelevant are all of those shows when you just have this, just some random guys wearing baseball hats that are getting like three times the amount of views and the background is just an energy drink that they're selling. We've really digressed, haven't we? Let's find out how much. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will give you this. Okay. When the fourth game was released. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't like this universe where Tony Hawk looks like Bill Gates. It's freaking me out. Look at him, he's so old now. His face looks like how I imagine his elbows looked because of all the scrapes that he got. Get Activision asked to have lunch with me in LA when I was there Ooh, one day. And he's like, sign. he's like, yeah, he's not the head, but he was definitely the guy overseeing our games. Okay. Um, and he's like, I, I, here's what's happening. We're releasing the fourth game. The last three are still in the top 10 of sales. Yeah, and well deserved. They were sick, weren't they? Did anyone else do that trick where they went to school and then kind of got the board on that bunny hop thing? 
and just kept it there so you could rack up points, come home. Yeah, 100,000. But it was always stopped by your mum going, well, you weren't playing it. No, mum, you bitch. No, just me. Well, you know, thanks for the memories, Tony. It's like uh, <laughs> classics mode, which means they sell at a certain price, but way more volume. Oh. He's like, so things are way bigger than you ever thought and he handed me <laughs> he handed me a check for four million dollars yeah see that's so weird isn't it thinking about being a celebrity back in those days really didn't have the same currency that it did now i mean that man had three games in the top 10 games at the same time and then they're saying congratulations tony the highest selling gamer of all time here's four million dollars what the same amount as that with the fucking Adidas hat on is making from this one pod. Your skill is that you're the greatest skateboarder of all time. You're the Michael Jordan of skateboarding. You get $4 billion. And then that guy's skill is asking you, yo, four? That's tight money, yo. That's like retirement money. You know what I'm saying? Like, God, the internet has made things too easy, hasn't it? I should not know who that man is. And I'll go further. You should not know who I am. And you should not be rewarding me for watching that man either. Yet here we all are. The only person that we should know in this entire equation is Tony Hawk. And even that, come on, that's a bit of a stretch. Like how much more of a skill is it to be sick on tech decks? Yeah, see, there we go. It only took like maybe five moves for YouTube to figure out that I'm 20 to 30 and live in the West. Because it's just, again, look at this. It's just some guy playing a weightlifting prank. You know what I can guarantee you right now? No Japanese men are into that. The carnival scam where if you hang on a bar for 100 seconds, you win $100 cash. A lot of people can hang on a bar for 100 seconds, but what they don't know is that this bar is rigged. The carnival people rig the bar and make it spin, making it impossible to grip onto and literally impossible to win. But I have won this challenge mm. before. Oh, wow, good for you. That's, uh, well, you can tell from my tone, it's not that impressive, but it's something. And I held on for 100 seconds. But I used yeah, one yeah, secret right. grip technique that none of the scammers know about. To show you how good this technique is. God, it's such a thing of our time, isn't it? As soon as you see the word scammers in the title. Yeah, well, they're not going to get one over me. Now to watch this giant digitized thing that's taking all of my information simultaneously. That's figuring out how to keep me on this thing. Oh, I'm getting the one up. Oh, I'm getting the one up on everyone. Yeah. I then tried a reverse grip to see if it's any better, but unfortunately slipped off with 40 seconds to go. Well, this is amazing about that YouTube short that has a million likes. And so you've trounced anything I've ever done in my entire life by uh, figuring out how to hold a grip that moves. But I gotta say, mate, that YouTube short could have been shorter. I'm bored. And drum roll, please. I think that we are on to our final short in going down the rabbit hole. Where has it led us? Has it led us like an Alice in Wonderland to an alternate universe? Let's see what it is. It is. You got 17 year olds. It's Tyler, the creator, giving advice. Dude, I'm sorry. Like, I do like his music. But I really don't think that he's in the position to be saying, look here, kid, here's how you do it. You say a bunch of fucked up things and be weird on purpose and like basically everyone else from New York is trying to do and somehow randomly you get plucked out. You gotta focus on that, kid. Be really anti-social and somehow monetize it. I was like, yeah, like, ready to die and Enter the Wu-Tang is my top 10 album ever. I'm like, bro, you just got hair on your dick. <laughs> You got young boys and babies out here, and that's your favorite. Out. Like, I don't care about people's objective top nothing. Tell me what is your favorite. I want to know why you think uh, Pookie Dookie's second album is your favorite. Oh, I have memories attached to it. My brother did this when I was young, this and that, did that. And track seven, he talked. I know this is going to be a very unpopular way to finish this. I know the title of the creator is extremely popular and that he deserves his fame, but I have to say, I don't care that he doesn't care what his fans think. <laughs> is that too harsh? Like, you know what, out of all of this, this is exactly how the rabbit hole begins. It ties you in with some genuinely good content, which is Max and Chad getting smashed and smacking each other. And then it just keeps devolving from there until you just get to this point where you think, what have I done for the last hour of my life? And then sadly, you always have the bowl band realization of, you took four minutes of my life and I want them back. Oh, I'd only waste them anyway. But I enjoyed it. I enjoyed wasting my time as well as yours. Make sure that you like it if you do. We're trying to tinker around with this format, but here's where we're thinking we're going with this. We're either thinking of starting 
with a fresh new account every time and tricking the algorithm by saying, I'm a 10 year old girl who, oh, well, that, that's sounding pretty, uh, to catch a predatory, but you get the idea. How you doing? All right, have a seat over in that chair, please. So here's what I want from you. I want suggestions because we're gonna start with this brand new account. We want to know what do we feed into it? Do we feed into it gun videos? Do we feed into it conspiracy theories? What's the video that we start with? And let's see where the algorithm takes us. And if you are an algorithm expert, give us something that you think is just extremely unexpected that, oh, lemon chicken recipe, and here we go. All right, we've got truck drivers that impersonate as dolls while they're doing their job. Okay, well, let's see, <laughs> let's see if we can get to there, yeah? So give us that. Let's see how the, uh, if the six degrees of separation or whatever that shit is works. And just to not shortchange you, just so we're not doing the classic Twitch streaming thing of just watching a bunch of videos and go, uh, that's another 250 gram for me, didn't say anything. We are actually going to be doing this as field research to create the ultimate piece of content. So, the aim is to combine everything that we just saw into one video so that we can eventually get, I don't know, 6 million likes? Is that the goal in this shit? It's the opposite of golf, the more the better. So what we're gonna do to accompany these is we're gonna create our own original short that combines those ideas. So if you saw that first and you were thinking, what's all that about? I don't know because I haven't made it yet. I'm assuming that it still doesn't make any sense. Here it is. So, uh, Tony Minaj, I like, uh, heard that you didn't go to the Rap and Roll Awards because it's something about a Scooby Doo on Fiverr thing with your manager. What, what the f happened? I wanna say something. Yo, shut the f up. That Scooby Doo video, that Scooby Doo video was. Yo, yo, Tony's taking a swig of the sponsor. Get a close up of that, yo. Oh. That tired of up, man. Long as it isn't a scam, that tired of up. All I'm saying is, I gotta work harder than my competition. You gotta see that uh, Twitter changed its name to X. So every time you were saying 20 to 30 year old, were you trying to pass yourself off as in your 20s? Uh, no, no, the, the point is that the reason I came back on screen was I was advertising my brand new show with my uh, very natural youthful hair and it, uh, that's coming around at certain places. I don't know where this is coming out, but make sure that you check that out. And also we've got merch available on the same website. So see you then, bye. No more questions about 20 to 30.